Hi guys, my name is Gunnar James Cole and welcome to episode 17 of episode Mean Girls Senior Year. So it says for this episode, have you burned all your bridges? Even Janice is hard pressed to help in your time of need. So Mika has found out about what we did with the phone and texting his dad. Let's see what happens in this episode. Okay, here we go. Prom had been picture perfect. I'd even worked up the courage to tell Mika about the text, but Regina beat me to it. A disaster ensued. Oh dear, oh no, look at me, look so sad. I figured you'd want to know. You used my phone to, to, or what should we say? I'm so sorry, it's not what it looks like. It's not what, mm, I'm so sorry. I did, but I, o I was only doing it because I was desperate. Desperate? Hmm, this sounds familiar. Please believe me when I tell you how sorry I am. Why should I believe you? Oh, he's getting mad. I can't trust anything you say. Yes, you can. Obviously I can't. After everything I've told you about my ex-girlfriend and, and everything, I thought we had something. We do. No, we don't. Mika, I'm sorry. I'm done with this. I'm done with you, Greenoid. Uh oh. Mika! <laughs> that was almost worth three million dollars. Hmm, not quite. <laughs> Have the best time ever at Yale. Oh, she's nasty. Aw. Well, it was a stupid thing to do, to be honest, Greenoid. What are you looking at? Karen posted it. What the heck, Karen? What is the matter with you? Doctors don't know. <laughs> Back off, Greenoid. I don't think you're in a position to make accusations at the moment. Really, Gretchen? You act all nice to me, to my face, but you have no problem letting this crap go down behind my back. I didn't have any part in this. But if you're looking to point fingers, maybe you should ask your so-called friend slash Karen's co-host why he didn't stop her. She makes a decent point, Damien. How could you let Karen put that online? What? I had no idea that she... Good old blameless Damien, never responsible for his role in things. Oh, you're one to talk. Oh dear, it's all going wrong, everyone's falling out. You spent this whole year ditching me, and for what? To make out with some guy who's going to dump you one semester into college. Oh, you did not just say that. Whoa, cool it down. Cool it on down, babe. Kevin, save that fire for me. Oh, here's Katie. Greenoid, why do you have to get them started? I didn't start that. Well, you definitely didn't help it. Just leave them alone, go find Mika, and no one asked you to be everyone's life coach, Katie. Oh my goodness, Greenoid, that's mean. You're so eager to tell everyone else what to do. Maybe you haven't noticed, but your own relationship is in shambles. Damn. Oh, snap. <laughs> wow, Greenoid, you're really on a roll tonight. Girl, fight, girl, fight. <laughs> Mr. Tucker, that's it. I'm calling your mother. I'm already here. <laughs> girl, fight, girl, fight, girl, fight. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, that explains so much. What is wrong with you people? It's like you don't care about anything unless someone puts it in some stupid online video. And then you act, and then you all act like that's all that matters. User, <laughs> backstabber. You're all in such a little bubble that you have no idea how much this school sucks. So why don't you get out of here, user? Yeah, no one wants you here, Greenoid. Yeah. Oh, there's Bernice jumping in, and I liked Bernice. You back traitor stabber person. I think you should leave. Oh no, it's all gone wrong. The only thing that spread faster than the video was the rumours. I heard Greenoid was using Mika this whole time just to get to his dad. And not even for Yale, like she wanted to hook up with his dad. <laughs> Sick, right? Apparently there's video of them hooking up. Sweet. I've got to find this. Greenoid Gemsicle hacked into Yale's admission system and put her name on Regina's application. People are saying she's actually a ninja assassin. <laughs> she's the reason I have dandruff. <laughs> I 
I heard she isn't even a new student. She's been here all four years. She's dyed her hair and changed her name and pretended to be a totally different person. Desperate. So desperate. Guys, I'm right here. Uh, that's a really good hair colour on you. Please don't assassinate us. <laughs> oh my goodness. Katie! What? I can't believe all that came out of my mouth. I didn't mean it. I'm so sorry. Uh-huh. Well, I'm not the one you need to apologise to. Defend yourself. Ask her advice. Let's ask for her advice. I know, but Mika hates me. What should I do? What should you do? Anything I suggest, you're going to ignore. Why would you say that? I've been giving you advice this whole year. Life coach, remember? But you don't put any of it to use, so I really don't see the point. You're right, I'm sorry. An apology's not going to cut it anymore. You had so many chances to make things right, but you didn't. This school has a word for girls like who act like you. Plastic. Oh, Plastic? Not plastic! <laughs> oh no! It's gone wrong. What's going on? Mika wouldn't answer my call, so I looked all over school for him. Oh dear. Instead, I found... Janice? What are you doing here? Oh, hmm. Kinda soured on the prom vibe. But you must have been too caught up in your own parade of deception to notice. Ouch! We were just leaving. Wait, where are you guys doing? going? Gretchen's parents are out of town. She's throwing a party. You're going to Gretchen's. She wants to clear the air with Damien. Worst case scenario, I lift a few handles from the <laughs> liquor cabinet. You know, the wiener's stock top shelf. Can I get a ride? I need to apologise to some people. No way. I'm not going to be responsible for bringing you. What do you mean? First you get outed as a backstabbing user, and then you drop a steaming pile of hate on all your friends. So don't act surprised if Greener Gemsicle isn't exactly anyone's fan favourite at the moment. The text was a mistake, and then I had a meltdown. Janice, you know that was so not like me. Honestly, I don't know anymore. Come on, Kevin. Oh no, everyone's fallen out with us. Congratulations on Yale. <laughs> Kevin! Apart from Kevin, Kevin hasn't fallen out with us. Yale, right. Ooh, where are we? Meanwhile, at Gretchen Wiener's prom after party, Oh, everyone's having fun. You said there would be older guys here. Well, Phil's coming. I could have him invite some colleagues. Do not do that. Oh my God, Dane just walked in. Ooh, kick him out. I can't kick him out. Why not? It's your party. I don't want him to think that I even care about him at all. And if I tell him to leave, it's like saying that I do care that he's here, which I totally don't. Oh my God, Regina. He brought those two sophomore skanks. <laughs> oh dear. No, he cannot show up to your house and crash your party with the Fellini twins. Give me your phone. Gross, what is that? Calm down. It's a picture of herpes from the health textbook and it's about to be the inappropriate pic Dane purportedly sent to you which you are now sending to the Fellini twins as an FYI warning because you're so thoughtful. Just looking out for you. Oh no, uh, we gotta go. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, hold up. Oh my God, that was so fe freaking incredible. Obviously, I'm incredible. What are you gonna do when I'm not here to stand up for you anymore? Oh. What's going on? I was frantic to find Mika. I looked everywhere, but he was long gone. And by this time, so was everyone else. Problem's over. Hey Mika, it's me again. Sorry to leave you all these messages. Call me back, or text, or I'm so sorry. It's a mess. It's all such a mess. I'm trying my best here. <laughs> Janitor. I mean, my life is such a mess. Oh, you and me both. I'm going to be cleaning up that glitter until the day I retire. Vent to the janitor or ignore him. Let's vent to him. I never pictured prom going like this. 
I never pictured life going like this. You know, I was the prom king right here at North Shore. You were? Got accepted to three Ivies, but decided to pursue my dream of being a rock star. Huh, so how did it go? It was a massive success, obviously. But I discovered my true passion is cleaning up after a bunch of foul-mouthed teenage brats. Sorry, I just, I finally locked in the future I was obsessed with having, but now all I can do is dwell on the past. Social media makes that pretty easy. Hold on, I have to pee again. What's this? Again? He had like four smoothies today. Wink wink. Or oh, it's like a video or something on uh, social media. Oh yeah, she's looking into all the past. I mean, who's really on that stage? Is it some bullet points in a file? No family history of diabetes, Yale graduate? Is it half of a person I'll never meet? Or is it just me? Greenoid being really happy. On the count of three, say Yale, one, two. It's a video, Mum. <laughs> oh. Is it even my dream that I've been chasing or someone else's? And if it ever was mine, does it still have to be? Oh, my brain is not working. Can I go clean the toilets now? Because <laughs> I would really prefer that to this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks for listening. Oh, dear. I still couldn't find Mika. I even looked for him at the park, but instead I found... Oh, who's this? Oh, Miss Young. Miss Jemsicle, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at your prom party or something? I kind of, I'm kind of uninvited. Are you alright? Give details, I'll be vague. Let's give details. Mika and I got into a big fight. You and Mr Bergman? Fight? No. But like, a real one. It was bad and it was all my fault. I did something terrible and then he found out and then the whole school found out. That's never fun. <laughs> and now everyone hates me. This whole year I've been chasing a dream I thought I wanted and I traded everything I actually do want to get it. So why don't you go chase that instead? It's not that easy. Nothing worth having ever is. So true. So true. For starters, I don't have a backup anymore. It would mean letting go of everything I fought for. I'd literally have no plans, but if I don't, I lose Mika, I lose my friends. I can't live with the person I've become. Sounds like the makings of a tragedy. Well, the good news is you write your own life, not Shakespeare. Yeah, that's true. That's why I make the big books. <laughs> I, I know exactly what to do. Wait, you weren't talking about Yale, were you? I, Miss Yang, yes, I have to go. Thank you. Crap, this school desperately needs a real guidance counsellor. Mmm, what are we about to go and do? I don't know. Back at Gretchen's party. I thought the episode was going to end there. So this is it. The house that Strudel built. It's even gaudier than I imagined. Whoa, is that a real suit of armour? Oh, look, it's Damien. As we tour the home of Gretchen Winers in this post-prom edition of Karen Uncensored Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. Damien? Hello Janice. Can we talk? I'm a bit busy at the moment. Fine. Worst case scenario time. Which way is the kitchen? There's two. <laughs> Never mind. I'll find it. Over there is a real suit of armour from Shakespeare times. Mr. Winers br bought it at an auction instead of getting Gretchen a new convertible. It cost more than her mum's face. <laughs> Are we going to go to the... No, this is our house, isn't it? We've gone back home. I'm home. How was prom, honey? Where is Prince Charming? Oh, I messed up, mum. I messed everything up. Oh, dear. What do you mean? Everyone hates me. Mika left without me. Everyone hates me. Katie, Janice, people I don't even know hate me. That can't be true. What did you do? I lied. I used people. And all for what? Some stupid notion of identity. What are you talking about? I'm not going to Yale, Mum. What do you mean? But you got in. I got in, but I don't deserve it. Of course you do. I don't. Yale is, is who I thought I was supposed to be. But the person who got into Yale, she's definitely not the person I want to be. Where did this come from? You're not being rational. It's the most rational I've been since we moved here. You don't want to throw away everything you've worked for. 
I threw away everything I stood for. Mum, I already emailed Yale. I gave up my spot. <gasps> no mum's face. <gasps> oh no. Gave up my space. Yeah, there we go. There is the end of the episode. So next episode, it says, is redemption on the cards. Gretchen Weiner's prom after party is your only shot. So there we go. That completes episode 17. Join me next time where we see if we can make up for it when we go over to Gretchen's party. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new around here and I will see you guys soon. Bye.